who will be evaluating Toastmaster Joanne. Toastmaster Takuto has been with us for a while and has done her speeches numerous times. <laughs> I don't know how many times. Anyway, um, please join me in welcoming Toastmaster Takuto. You have now completed project number four, how to say it. When I did my project number four a few speeches back, I found this particular project very challenging compared to the other project from Icebreaker to Three and even the ones that came after project four. Because for this project, I think sometimes you have to go back to your basics, look after, be careful about the words you're using, but also certain objective, very specific objective that this project calls to us to practice. It's not that easy to incorporate all of them in one speech. And also that's the time I learned that how important to select a good topic that match the objective of project four. So on specifics of how you have delivered your speech, there are many points requested by the project for that you accomplished very well. And I thought the either satisfactory or excellent marks on your personal evaluations. For example, uh, one of the things that they, the project asked is to try to use the simple and short clear words, avoid the jargon, try to make sure that people understand, easily understand what you are trying to convey. Also, try to be careful about your uh, grammar, how you have constructed and delivered the sentence. And also, uh, um, avoid the uh, jargon unnecessary words, and <coughs> when necessary, try to rephrase what you have said once by using the vivid words and selection of words. I think you have done in your speech all of these points very well. I particularly like how you started your speech. You talk about a classroom situation. I hear that it really happened to you, so it was based on your real experience. You experienced, uh, you explained to us how you had a very difficult situation whereby you had a, a classroom full of children which are really getting out of hand. And you try to use the one method to catch your attention, but in a way, you, your positive effect that you expected was short-lived. So you couldn't really sustain the, the control of the classroom. And that was the main message about your speech. You wanted to alert us and ask us that you know, try to communicate is one thing, but also you have to be careful about how other people perceive you and uh, will respond to you, which come back to how you say it, how you communicate. So I think overall your speech met the basic points requested by the project. Maybe in the future, if you are to do a similar type of speech, one of the things you could concentrate is to make your message, to make your content support your message more simpler way, uh, more easier way. I think your train of thought in your speech is quite deep because it's very much based on your real experience. So you were one part of the content was leading you from one element of your thought to the next element of your thought. But for us as a listener, it was not very some point to it was not very easy to grow your thought because it was going quite deep. So maybe for your future speech, uh, you could use uh, maybe slightly simpler construction or organization of your content so that it will support overall your key message. So that would be the one point that uh, I would recommend for the future, but I think you are definitely improving your delivery of speech and we look forward to your next speech. Thank you.